And closing arguments are set to begin next week on Tuesday at 10 a.m. And then the jury will get to decide if Michelle Draconis is guilty of trying to cover up a murder of Jennifer Farber Dulo. So here are the big moments that happened in court this week. The mother of Jennifer Dulos was the last witness to take the stand before the state rested its case this week. Gloria Farber testified for less than 10 minutes, covering only basic questions. Did Jennifer show up at your apartment that day? No. Have you seen your daughter Jennifer since she failed to meet you at your apartment in New York City on May 24th, 2019? No. Though our legal analyst, defense attorney Walter Hussey, says she is the most compelling witness, especially with her resemblance to her daughter that could play on the heartstrings of the jury. She humanizes Jennifer. It's incredibly and profoundly sad what happened to her, and I think that the jury really feels that impact when the mom and the kids came into the court. The jury saw a third and final police interview with Michelle Traconis. I always thought that he was in the house. Police claim Traconis has always changed her story and left out important parts like failing to mention in the handwritten timelines that she and Fotis drove to the north end of Hartford to throw away things on Albany Avenue the day Jennifer disappeared. Found it to be a strange because it was potentially incriminating information and it was omitted. The defense presented an expert psychologist who testified Draconis's memory would be impacted by the long police interviews in her second language. If they're preoccupied and stressed and and sleep deprived, and, and that's going to have a negative effect on memory. Prosecutors pointed out Elizabeth Loftus has consulted on defense trials for people like Ted Bundy and O.J. Simpson and has paid thousands of dollars for her time. Third, defense attorney John Schoenhorn made a motion for acquittal, saying the state has not met its burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. But this was denied, and instead, closing arguments begin Tuesday at 10 a.m. The entire case, at least 99% of it, is about Photostoulos' conduct. I think there's enough there, um, obviously, for the jury to have a lot to consider. All right, I don't think it's clear cut, and uh, it, I think in the first the first count, the most uh, severe charge against was the conspiracy to commit the murder. I don't think they have enough evidence there. Now, of course, it's all going to be up to the jury to decide the evidence and what is enough as they begin deliberations next week. When a verdict comes in, we will bring it to you live on the air. You can also watch closing arguments on Tuesday morning on our live stream on WFSB Plus or the WFSB Channel 3 app or WFSB.com, all for free.